So if you've been following this build and you're wondering what happened, what's going on, what the delay is all about, KK's Yukon wasn't passing smog. Had a check engine light, we had to figure out what was going on. Spent like three, four hundred dollars in parts trying to chase down the check engine light. But no matter what we did, the check engine light kept coming back on. So I decided to take it to the dealer, let them figure it out. It's gonna cost a pretty penny to get it done, but it has to get done. This thing won't pass smog and we can't register it until we do. So it don't make sense to put a whole bunch of power, a couple of 24 inch woofers, all that wire, all that time and money, and then have a truck that won't pass smog. So there's your delay right there. that's all done no check engine light it's ready to get registered again no problem everything's working good no check engine lights everything's ready to go it's ready to be smogged it's ready to get registered but we got one more thing to do before I can put this heavy ass box and this heavy ass amp rack in the back we got to raise it up a little bit about an inch or so in the back when we first did this drop kit we just wanted it to be low and look good which it did but we we're right there at the brink all you had to do was hit a big enough bump and it would scrape a little bit so I know this box is going to make the truck scrape all the so time. we got some little inserts that came with the lowering kit that we never used. I guess it's time to put them in. Hopefully these should be enough to do it right here. If not, I got a laser. We'll make some more spacers until we make it happen. So this isn't the main subject of this video. I just want to let you guys know what the delay was and what's going on. We should be right back at it real soon here. We'll pop these in, lower this thing back down start running wires we got a mechman 400 amp alternator coming he wanted a purple one so we got him a purple one and we got the front battery the excess power titan 8 factory fit up front so then that'll be the final piece before we can start running all that sky high wiring get all that to the back and then once the wiring is in the back then we can put the box in all right we got that done raise it up about an inch in the back of course when that heavy ass box and that amp rack goes in it's gonna drop back down again so it'll still be perfect I hope all right look what just showed up been waiting for these to get here for a little bit all that cool stuff the woofers the amps the base none of it would happen if you didn't have the power to begin with KK yeah. Yeah. Want to open those up or what? Yeah. We're going to start with the battery or the, or the alternator. Let's see that bad boy. Would you order purple? Yep. Should be a purple 400 up in here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing. That thing's gorgeous. What do you think, Kay? Is it good or what? <laughs> Alright, well, we got your lithium for underneath the hood right there, too. So let's open that thing up and take a look at it. All right, so this one's for underneath the hood. It's a Titan 8 lithium. Power S5 4800, so it's a direct fit. It should fit in there like it's factory, except for it's far from factory. Unlike these ones right here, that one's in a real case. It's basically the same exact battery, but it's in a real case. Nice use of the SMB steak knife. Of course. First of all, pick that thing up. Just look at that. Is it heavy or what? Heavy. That's your. It's almost like it's fake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that thing weighs nothing. Alright, it's gonna be a great little combo. Takes power to make power, and uh, 
we got some solid power right here. All right, I popped the hood, but the engine compartment was so dirty, I didn't even want to show it. So, we got to clean it up a little bit first. So it ain't detail of the century, but it's a lot nicer than it was. So with that all cleaned up, looking decent at least, halfway decent. Here we go. Got the purple 400, excess power lithium. I'm gonna take this raggedy old thing out. It's still charging though. Can't really complain. But I'm not sure what that is, maybe 100 amps stock. And then we got that uh, excess power AGM that's been sitting over there for quite a while doing its job. But the AGM's out, lithium's in, stock is out, and uh, Beckman's in. So really all you need to get started is a 15 millimeter wrench right here on this tensioner pulley. Pop that bad boy off of there. Just take this whole thing off. The pulley on the Beckman is a lot smaller than the stock one, so that means that this belt needs to be about a half inch shorter. So back to the auto parts store I go. So with the magic of editing, I just returned back from the auto parts store. We got a Gates Micro V. It's a 60930 HD. Good one, the green belt. So that wasn't nothing but a simple extraction. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion to get it out. But once it's out, the new one should slide right on in there. What a difference. This is literally the most temporary ground I've done in a long time for anything. This is just so we can move the truck in and out of the shop before we start the real wiring. I want to get all this stuff in there, I want to get it working, and then we're going to pile on the Sky High 2 watt. For right now, we got a little bit of 4 gauge. I mean, even though it's temporary, I still got to put the heat shrink on it. So I like my stuff to look clean no matter what. And the reason we got to have a separate ground is because this thing is so isolated that the case is not an adequate ground for it. This is your ground right here. That's what you're supposed to use. Of course, you got the positive post on the other side. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go from here right over there. And that should make up for what would have been there with the old case.
Next thing I need to find is a clean ignition source. Switched. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, go ahead and uh, turn the key. Okay, turn it off. There we go. First try. I think that's how it goes. It's a little different than my Tahoe, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Maybe. So again, when we go to do the real stuff, it's gonna have the big wire on it. We are just trying to get this thing started so we can move it in and out of the shop for right now. Make sure it's all working and then we're gonna put the good stuff on. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. It looks brand new underneath here just from that. We got a little bit of time before we gotta get out of here. Wanna do some lithium or what? Do. Yep. Alright, let's do it. Let's get it right here. Forty-eight point five pounds. Let's see how much this one weighs. Nine point five. Wow. Now we got a platform to work off of. This part will be done. Okay, I almost forgot. They supply you with this little plug right here. You just put that over the factory one. Somehow. There we go. Just like that. And that should prevent any battery lights from coming on on your dash from it. Seeing the new alternator. So. Just like that. Okay, fire it up. Okay, so we're good to go. We got the lithium. We got the 400 amp alternator. We just gotta run a bunch of two watt cable. Maybe not even a bunch, just a couple of runs. But we're ready to hook up the amp rack. Right now, I'm out of here.